In this problem, we have an exponential function that uses this special number e. If you haven't seen that before, it's uh, something to start getting used to. It's going to pop up again and again as you go on further in math. It's a, a very useful number. Uh, it's not a variable uh, in this case. It, e stands for a constant. It doesn't change. E is actually this number. This is how you'd calculate the value of E. It's a series, that a never-ending series. It's 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 1 times 2 plus 1 over 1 times 2 times 3 plus 1 over 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, etc., on to infinity. And um, there are ways actually to calculate precisely what that number is, although you can never get um, all the way to infinity. So it's an irrational number. And in fact, this is a, a, a button you'll find on a lot of calculators. There's been an E button probably on the calculator you use. If we pop into um, Google Calculator here, there's the E button. I just press that and hit equals. And there's an approximation of the value. So around 2.7, a little bit more than 2.7. So that's the value of E. Let's see what we can do about this graph. As with any exponential function, I think the best way to graph it is to make a table of values. But we also might want to think about the asymptote first. So with an exponential function, e, e here is a, a positive value. So there's no number we can put in here that would make this negative. If the powers get really, really small here, because this is a number that's greater than 1, then this value is going to get really, really small and it's going to approach 0. So at some point, this part of the function is going to be basically 0, almost 0, really, really close to 0. But then we're always adding 1 to it. That's going to make sure the y value never goes below the line y equals 1. So that is our asymptote of this function. Now let's see if we can plot a few points to get a sense of this curve. I think the first point I'm going to plot. The first value I'll try for x is 4, and I'm picking that number very deliberately. You'll notice the power here is x minus 4. So if I put in a 4x, 0 up here. That's exactly what I want. I want 1 half e to the 0 power plus 1, because e to the 0 power is just 1. So this is 1 half plus 1, or 3 halves. And we can plot that. 4 and three halves. So let's see what happens if we plot one more point to the right here, 5. So 5 would make this e to the first power. So that would be 1 half e plus 1. Well, e is 2.7. Whoops, wrong calculator. e is 2.7. Let's multiply that by 1 half, which is dividing by 2, and add 1. And we get this 2 point, basically 2.4. So we'll put that in. So 5 and 2.4. Uh -huh. So now we can see the shape of this curve. We are going up this way, like exponential curves do, and we are approaching 0 this way. So with those points, we can probably make a reasonable sketch. We've got this long tail and then exponential function that shoots up rapidly that way. So that is how to draw the graph of an exponential function that has e as its base.